I've got a secret I gotta tell you guys. Sometimes I use AI. It's true. I'm a creative and I use AI and you should too. Maybe. Watch this video and we'll talk about it more. All right, let's get the elephant out of the room. There is some scary things about AI, which is jobs, right? We want to make sure that we still have careers and that this new scary AI isn't going to take over. But I think that's a while from now. I mean, look at some of these images that I pulled up. At first glance, they look great. I mean, actually, they look real and kind of mind blowing. But let's zoom in a little bit. There's certainly still some flaws about AI, and, and I just want to call that out. I don't want to bash AI too much because it is super early in this whole process or whatever, but I did want to call it out and just make sure to let you know that I know it's still got some work to do. Now let's get serious and let's talk about how we can actually use it as creatives. I've been using the new Photoshop updates and there's some really cool things that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to jump over to the computer and we're going to talk about it inside the app. I've jumped over to my Mac. So now what I need to do is I just need to grab some photos since we're going to be working in Photoshop. I like to use pexels.com. Use whatever photo website you want. These are just cool because they're free and royalty free, whatever. And you can grab them. So I'm going to grab some photos of the beach and that's how we're going to start. I found my images. I'm jumping over into Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2025. Make sure you've updated if you haven't. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the cool things of how I'm actually using this in my creative work. So I've got this cool photo here, right? Let's pretend I went to the beach and this photo would be great on my wall. But there's one issue. There's these guys right here. I, I don't know these guys. They just jumped in my photo. What am I going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the polygon lasso tool, and I'm just going to trace around these guys just like that. And now we have this generative fill button right here. This is where the magic happens. So usually you can put in a prompt. A lot of people actually like to make things. They'll be like, make me a horse with a hat. I don't know. But that's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to leave this blank, and we're going to click generate. And watch what happens. Now going forward, I'll fast forward this part, but I kind of want you to see how long this takes. It's not terribly long, but you will have to wait a second. Almost there. Boom. So now it gives me three different options, and it just removed them. I mean, and it removed them well. If I zoom in, you can't tell. I mean, I can't tell. You you know, in the comments, you might be like, I can totally tell. This is I can't tell. So that's, that's super awesome because now I have this perfect photo of the beach. And there's no one in the way, and I just have this layer. So it didn't even destruct my original photo. It just added a layer on top. Super helpful. All right, so I've got another photo here, and we're going to do the same thing. I think this photo is so cool, but it doesn't match the vibe of, you know, per se, my living room or wherever I'm going to put this. So I'm going to, again, grab my lasso tool. I'm going to cut around this word, aloha. We're just going to click generate. And watch what happens. And just like that, you've got three options where it's completely gone. And you can actually use this in your work if, if you weren't trying to have that word in there. All right, so hopefully you're a little bit impressed with taking things away. But what if we wanted to add something? So again, I've got this really nice photo of the beach. I'm going to grab my lasso tool. And this time, I'm just going to draw a nice shape right here, pretty big. And I'm going to connect these. And this time, when I go to generative fill, I'm actually going to type in a prompt. So I'm going to type large sand castle this is hard with one hand and we're going to generate and see what happens and look just like that i've got three options of sand castles now these aren't great which is quite unfortunate because i'm trying to show you that this can be great so let's try one more time and generate all right i'm gonna keep it honest with you guys it took me a lot of tries to get something i was kind of happy with on this one sometimes they're great sometimes they're not but super cool i mean it, what's really cool about this is it matches the lighting so i've got the sun over here on the right and you can tell it's casting it on the right of the sand castle it matches the sand color it looks like it was actually supposed to be in here and i think that's the most amazing part about this feature this next feature i'm about to show you guys is seriously the reason i started taking ai seriously in my creative workflow so if you're a digital designer you already know the pain that can be working with display ads i've got three already mocked up here but here's my basic first one that I'm supposed to be starting with. I've got this bird and a tagline and some fake website. And now I'm supposed to make a bunch of different variations. I've got a vertical and a billboard, but this just is not going to work. So if I take this, paste it over here, you'll see if I try to stretch it and make it fit inside of my template, it just doesn't work. This photo is too small. I need more area 
the subject's taking up too much of the space. And this is where I figured out that AI could actually really help this process. I've got this image in Photoshop and I'll show you exactly how I can work with it to work with my display ads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and I'm gonna click C on the keyboard and I'm just gonna drag this all the way over here. Now I get this prompt that says generative expand. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click generate. Now you probably already understand where this is going, which is fine, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna walk you through each step of what I'm doing. And now, just like we did previously, I have three options that I get to pick from, but this time it expanded the full width of the canvas. So because I was like, I want this blank portion to be filled in, AI went ahead and did that for me. And it's honestly pretty amazing. Like, look at these leaves. These are the same type of leaves that was in the reference photo, which is fantastic. I mean, this is pretty cool too. So for the sake of my ad, I'm probably going to use this photo here. I'm going to export it and then I'll throw it into the template and we'll go from there. I've got my new image in here. I need to shrink it down so I can fit it inside of our template, but I'll cut this and I will paste it in here and let's play with this a little bit. I'm going to throw it to the background and look, now it's perfectly sized for this ad and it makes just so much more sense. So the photo perfectly flows into our gradient that we have here. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. If I zoom in, you wouldn't be able to tell that this was expanded. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's so amazing how quickly it does that. So we did one of the sizes. Let's go ahead and let's try this vertical one too. Again, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click C on the keyboard and I'm just going to stretch this nice and high. I'm going to hit generative expand again and let it do its thing. All right, let's zoom in and let's take a look at what it made. So again, just three really awesome versions it blows my mind every time it does it. It's it's just, it's fantastic. So I think I like this one. I'm going to export it again and throw it into our template. So I've got my image in here. I'm going to shrink it down again, just like we did for the horizontal one. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it inside here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. It's a little tight. So let's format it. Let's get it sized right. The bird is the subject. So I want the bird to take up the most space. So let's just keep moving this till we figure out it's in a good spot. And I think that looks nice right there. So let's send this to the background. So that probably took us two to three minutes to get three different sizes of a display ad. And they all work perfectly together. It's very clear that they're a set. They go together. And I didn't spend too much time trying to cut things out and stitch things together. I just let the AI do it for me, which is fantastic. So things like this is where I really think AI thrives. Well, what do you guys think? Is this something you're going to be able to use in your everyday creative workflow or... Is it just another hype day, I think? Personally, I'm really excited about it because it allows me to do the actual creative stuff that I want to do and not deal with cutting things out and resizing and removing and all that stuff that I just don't want to do. If you guys want to see more of this AI style content, let me know in the comments and I can make it happen. Well, guys, if you liked the video, you already know what to do. Until next time, peace.